Hello everyone, my name is Putty and welcome back for another edition of Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. We are here for the February show, we are here for the Wrestling Classic. And ladies and gentlemen, it is of course the 50th edition of Mid-Atlantic Wrestling, the return, the 2016 series. It is episode 50 and coincidentally... I have something special planned tonight. Um, it's it's definitely I, I didn't even realize it was the fiftieth episode until I like just just started recording, or like a couple like about ten minutes ago when I named the previous episode. It's like oh, it was episode forty nine. I knew fifty was coming up, but I forgot it was this episode. And luckily, we have something very special planned for tonight. Um, but we'll get into that as the show goes on. All we know going in is that Ernest Youngman is going to be defending his his world heavyweight championship in our main event of the evening. That's all we know about this show. Otherwise, let's go in blind. Let's experience it together. It's going to be a fun show. And indeed, the main event of the evening should be a classic. And uh, it should be a Ben Ditch dream match, if you ask me. So, here we go. We open up the show with Bossman Brayfield standing in the middle of the ring. And he says, Charlotte Garden, are you ready? And they all chant, yes, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. And he says, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the, to the Mid-Atlantic Wrestling Wrestling Classic. It is time uh, to announce your main event of the evening. You've all been patient. You've all heard rumors. And, you know, we have managed to secure a deal with one of the legends of the wrestling business. There is a guy who has been gracious enough to come over here to the United States of America in his twilight years. There is a guy who has been gracious enough to agree a deal with the commissioners of the Confederation of the Territories that his retirement tour will be right here in the territories. And that first stop is tonight. In our main event of the evening, Ernest Youngman is going to be taking on a technical legend. Ernest Youngman is going to be taking on one of the biggest stars in the history of Japanese and worldwide professional wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening will be an instant classic. It'll be Ernest Youngman versus Yoshimi Mushashimo for the Confederation of the Territories World Heavyweight Championship. And indeed, that should be an instant classic and sensational technical matchup between the great the best uh, the best there's ever been the wrestling machine the assassin of the squared circle Ernest Youngman and the technical wizard the ace of pride glory honor wrestling Yoshimi Mushashibo who has come to the territories for his retirement tour but there is much more wrestling to be had tonight folks as we start us off with Fro Shore taking on the debuting mean machine the second man to don the mask and they uh, they have a good match, back and forth stuff. You see the Mean Machine has this kind of... He's quite short and stocky, but he's big and he's muscly and he's ripped. And he's got this uh, brutal, like, pit bull-like attitude. For sure, just keeps hitting him with those punches, hitting him with those with those elbows. And he keeps bouncing back with these low drop kicks, these big high-impact lariats, trying to lift Fro up for a superplex. Fro manages to reverse it into a sure thing. And pick up the victory, a big victory for Froshear here, getting back on track. But impressive showing from the debutante, the mean machine. And we move on as Sid Collier takes on Patrick Vincent, and he defeats him by submission with a Texas Cloverleaf. Patrick Vincent showing that heart, that passion, that fire that we've seen him show before. You know, refusing to stay down as Sid Collier tries to grind down Patrick Vincent, tries to use that technical prowess to really punish the youngster, Patrick Vincent. But Patrick Vincent refusing to stay down, escaping, trying to use that heart, trying to fight back with a series, uh, with a flurry of punches and kicks. You know, the type of stuff you expect to see from these young uh, passionate youngsters that are, are just trying to get that momentum going, maybe score that upset victory, and in the end Sid Collier hits him with that low blow and locks him up in a Texas Cloverleaf. He's got nowhere to go. Middle of the ring and a deadly, deadly maneuver in that Texas Cloverleaf as Patrick Vincent is forced to tap out. An Island by Apollo then defeats Drake Young by pinfall with an Island driver. An Island by Apollo shows a, a not, not necessarily a, a vindictive streak, but definitely more of a clinical, vicious streak in this match. You know, Drake Young... Uh, is is definitely that uh, charismatic heel trying to cheat to win on every occasion, and Island by Apollo is having none of it. Manages to cut him off at every corner. Manages to just brutally knock down the the, the challenger in Drake Young, and uh, clinically one half of the World Tag Team Champions ends up putting the Canadian away with an Island Driver. And after the match, he gets on the mic and says, "You know, I've been looking, I've been looking." For, for Scythe's weakness, and I think I finally found it. You can't beat him by going in as a high flyer. 
You can't beat him by going in as this exciting luchador. And you can't beat him by brawling at him. You can't keep him by trying to wear him down because he just likes pain. So I, f- I think I've figured out what I need to do. I need to be vindictive. I need to be vicious. I need to harness that power that I found last summer when I was on the brink of vengeance and revenge. And I need to get, I need to sink to Scythe's level. And you know what? I'm willing to do it because that is a challenge that I have yet to complete. And you know, one of the greatest things about professional wrestling for me is, is proving everybody wrong and living up to a challenge. And that's, that's what I got to do. I've got to be vicious. I've got to go to the depths of hell and I've got to fight that demon. And you know what? There's something that Ernest Youngman taught me year after year is that you need to fight the best if you're going to be ready for the big time. And so I'm going to do what he did. I'm going to invite some of the greatest, the most vicious brawlers in this business to MAW. And I challenge you to come here and be electrified by Island by Apollo. And at the end of it, I will face Scythe. And I will win. Because I have made a career off of proving people wrong. As we move into the semi-main event of the evening, as El Mitico Jr. and Shinikami have a very nice technical matchup. Shinikami trying to use his body as a weapon, trying to do that high-flying, uh, death-defying, adrenaline rush stunt to start off the match before El Mitico Jr. finally gets control with that technical prowess that he has. But uh, in the end, uh, El Mitico Jr. trying to grind down his Shinikami, but Shinikami just won't have it. You know, he gets those kip-ups. Hits the ropes, gets that momentum, those big kicks, those big punches, trying to set El Medico Jr. off his game. El Medico Jr. likes to set the pace. He likes to keep control of the matchup. And Shinikami just trying to kind of set El Medico off, trying to uh, un- make un- El Medico uncomfortable. And in the end, uh, Shinikami kind of succeeds. He's trying to put El Medico off his game, and he-, he does indeed succeed. Shinikami looks like he's preparing to head to a finishing stretch when, in- when American Elemental interferes, distracts Shinikami, which is enough time for El Medico Jr. to hit him with that northern light suplex and pick up the victory. Big win for El Medico Jr. He's on a roll lately. Not many losses in the last couple months, and uh, he picks up the victory. But Shinikami and American Elemental continue their bad blood. As we head to the interview area, and Ernest Youngman is standing next to Sweet Tabitha, and he says, Sweet Tabitha, I gotta tell you, I'm nervous. I gotta tell you, it's not many times that the, the, the wrestling machine gets nervous, they get starstruck. But you know, in a couple minutes, I get to fight one of the legends of this business, and I can't deny it. You know, I like to say I don't have an ego, but sometimes the confidence gets the better of me. But I can't be confident tonight, because I'm facing Yoshimi Mushashibo, one of the greatest technical wrestlers of our time. A guy that I grew up watching tapes of and thinking, I want to be like you. And I get to go in there and I get to shake hands and I get to wrestle with a man that I've tried to imitate at every step of my career. And I know that it is going to be the hardest match of my career. And I know that Yoshimi Mushashibo is 44 years old. While he's got the smartest brain, I think, in professional wrestling history, I know he's not going to be as fast as when I saw him as a kid. I know he's not as going to be as quick as when I saw him as a kid. He's going to be a tough opponent. But I want to make sure that my memories of him don't get tarnished. So I'm going to give him all the respect that I can. I'm going to give him all of Ernest Youngman. And you know what? As much as I respect and as much as I'm starstruck at Yoshimi Mushashibo, I got to protect what's mine. And he taps the belt on his waist. I got to be number one. I got to be the guy. I got to be the wrestling machine. The best there's ever been. The assassin of the squared circle. I got to be Ernest Youngman. And you know when I take off this leather jacket... I take off this diamond watch and I take off these sunglasses. I take off the greatest championship in American wrestling today. I am one of the greatest technical wrestlers in this business. And it is an honor to get to show those skills to the greatest technical wrestler in this business. And that is what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to fight every step of the way. I'm going to fight and let's see if I can get one over on the greatest of all time. And it's time for Yoshimi Mushashibo versus Ernest Youngman for the World Heavyweight Championship. And in a decent match, Ernest Youngman defeats Yoshimi Mushashibo in 41 minutes and 42 seconds by pinfall with the hit. Ernest Youngman makes defense number one of his World Heavyweight Championship. Yoshimi Mushashibo, um, yeah, definitely not, uh, not quite uh where he was a few years ago not a, not a fantastic performance there from from Yoshi 
But uh, still definitely a nostalgia fest, surely, for the people in the crowd. I'm sure they've all watched Yoshimi tapes. He is one of the, the most legendary figures in all of uh, Japanese professional wrestling. And even though he is 44 years old, I'm sure seeing him out there grappling with a youngster like Ernest Youngman definitely saw some nostalgic takes as they go hold for hold. And, you know, it's a slower match. They don't try to do anything flashy or over overextend him because Yoshi's he is a little slower. He's a little more tired. But he's still got it. You can see every step of the way that Yoshi, you know, goes through that hold, goes through this hold, and the crowd kind of pop a little. They're like, yeah, this is really cool. They see the uh, the Yoshi lock maybe trying to get locked in, and Ernest manages to reverse it. And there's uh, some really sick, just slow, mat grappling stuff. And in the end, Ernest uh, manages to hit that double underhook powerbomb for the for the victory and he retains the world heavyweight championship good stuff from uh probably the greatest wrestler in maw history taking on the greatest wrestler in japanese history good stuff from these two and i hope you guys enjoyed the wrestling classic 2000 and uh and 20 if you did please remember to leave a thumbs up check out the rest of the series subscribe if you haven't already let me know what you think in the comments what do you what do you think about the upcoming matches of course yoshimi mushashibo is slated and i'll let you know right now uh, he's going to be all over the territories, but here in Mid-Atlantic, he is going to be here in April. He's going to be taking on um, Island Boy Apollo in April, and then his final match in the United States, possibly his final match ever, is going to be in May against the architect Dewey Archer at Old School Rules. That is going to be a good one. That's one to look out for. I hope you guys will join me for all of those updates next time. Next time on Mid-Atlantic Wrestling in March, we are going to be having El Mitico Jr. versus Sid Collier uh, in a number one contenders match for the Mid-Atlantic Regional Championship and our main event of the evening it is the start of Island Boy Apollo's open challenges to what the best the territories and beyond have to offer Island Boy Apollo in our main event next month is going to be taking on representing Coastal Zone Championship Wrestling Frantic Ali I hope you guys will join me then please do and I will see you guys then <laughs>